Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel again and again and again and again and again. So today, I look like a wet mop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is day one here, so ain't nothing, ain't nothing new here except for this video. So today I'm coming for you, at you. Boy, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. But today I'm coming at you with a new video obviously it's gonna be a half up half down tutorial okay half up half down now lately i've been doing a lot of styles because i needed to have my hair go a little longer because i don't have time to wash it and this is one of those styles so if you haven't seen my um bun tutorial from last week check it out this week's half up half down you're gonna see the same hat i'm sorry but <laughs> but yeah so I normally do this on old stretched out hair because it just works better to manipulate and it just stretches out my wash and go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and obviously I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Okay y'all, mostly for this tutorial it's not even like anything crazy. It's just eyeballing, fixing it to your liking. Whether you want a high puff, a top knot, this could be changed into any anything you want to do so right now as you can see I'm just making sure that um, what am I trying to say here y'all I'm just making sure that each side is even as in like each side of the hair left out is even because you don't want one side to have more hair than the other I'm making sure I don't have tangles I'm talking in, on the phone in this video so that's why I look like I'm just a hot mess talking to myself but um, I'm just making sure I don't got tangles, you know what I'm saying? And then once I get my desired like ponytail area length um, position, don't worry if it's too puffy right now, we'll fix it later. I'm going to go ahead and just spray my edges with water just to make sure I'm not pulling tight on my edges. You know, you don't want to stress them out because I already have a hot mess of a hairline, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I just sprayed that just to make sure I get some work. So I'm just gonna smooth out the bumps by using my fingers like that, like a kind of like a finger comb, just to smooth out whatever is like under there that I don't want to have bunched up. So as you said, I got the rubber band on my arm. I use like the uh, extra large goodie hair bands, like the, the ones that are not headbands but they're not regular hair ties either. And I just make that go around and you have to be careful on this. If you have thick hair like this, you don't wanna just put your hair in a ponytail cause it will, you know tangle so I just do that and I just do it around twi twi twice twice <laughs> twi 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 twice and get that puff in there like I said this is like day eight wash and go so I'm just trying to stretch this mug out so I'm just gonna fluff out what I got going on and then that's pretty much it now I'm gonna respray this and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my bobby pins and I'm gonna bobby pin the base of my hair i'm putting i'm putting just a little bit of gel right now on there but you don't have to if you don't want to um it's just to keep the flyaways down you know what i'm saying because it's gonna be messy if you want or it's gonna be put together if you want but see i'm pulling it more and i'm gonna take these bobby pins and i'm gonna bobby pin the back base of this puff my puff my hair is just naturally voluminous so it kind of wants to like lift up from my head and I don't really like that so I'm just bobby pinning it down you know security and all that jazz I, yeah I use like 99 bobby pins but I just bobby pin to where I feel is necessary if I need like my sides to be down a little bit more I'll bobby pin my sides it just depends on the day and um how your hair wants to act that day you know what I'm saying Okay, so now that it's in place, I'm gonna take this my edges toothbrush and I'm gonna spray it with this scalp motion spray because I don't want my edges to be dry. I'm gonna spray my toothbrush just to give a little bit moisture to my edges. I'm not combing out my, I'm not brushing my edges down, making them slay to the gods. I'm not. I'm just making sure that they're moisturized and all that jazz. And once I'm through with that, there you have it. You have your half up, half down. You know what I'm saying? You could position this. You know the back puff you can position it 
on top of your head a high puff you know it, it has many possibilities you can do a top knot you know what i'm saying many possibilities and you know me i can't really do with this forehead or my hairline so what i'm gonna do is get my handy dandy adidas uh visor <laughs> um <laughs> and i'm just gonna put it on my head and it honestly makes such a difference to my to me to my viewpoint okay now it's not, i'm not saying that i always wear my visor every time i go out like this but i just enjoy it especially during the summertime if you don't want that heat to be hitting your face and yeah guys that's literally it i do these styles like i say every time to stretch out my hair hope you guys enjoy this video like subscribe share with all that jazz leave a comment below talk to me and do up on social media and um hope you guys enjoyed as usual i'll see you in my next one bye i'm gonna do it like 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 i